So we're going to go through these <clears throat> as quickly as we can. Um, mainly the front of this side is going to be reviewed for the, uh, the, the Unit 9 test. Uh, a lot of the stuff on the back isn't necessarily going to be Unit 9 stuff. But Quincy and Quigley, two people among eight students, uh, entered in a raffle for Dodger tickets. Okay, so there's eight people, two of them are Quincy and Quigley. The two students will win tickets. Um, two, only two students will win the tickets. So what's the probability that it, it'll happen to be these guys? Well, there are a couple different ways we can approach this. Uh, this is the formula method. <coughs> now, the formula can be one of two things. First of all, there's no order. Order doesn't matter here. You're just looking for two people who are going to win the tickets. So one thing you could do is simply say this is a, a combination of nine uh, individuals, uh, sorry, eight individuals, taken two at a time. Okay, so that would be an eight factorial over six factorial, the difference between the two, and then two factorial. Now this is gonna give you the number of different combinations. Quincy and Quigley be, would, would be one of those combinations. Um, so manually solving this, eight times seven times six factorial over six factorial times two, because two factorial uh, is two times one or just two. So these cancel out here. Two goes into eight four times. That's, uh, that's 28, okay, four times seven. Now what are the chances it's Quincy and Quigley? Well, that would be one out of a possible 28 different options. Now another way you could approach this would be you could almost call this a multiplication type uh, problem in that you're looking, it's probability. So what is the probability that, that one of the two out of the eight gets chosen first? Well, there's two possibilities out of eight. But then if one of them has already been chosen, what are the chances that the next one also gets chosen? Well, that would also be a one out of seven. So you can reduce that to be a one over four and you multiply straight across, you get the same thing. So a couple different approaches. Feel free to, you know, don't feel like you need to be packaged into one specific way of doing things. Um, this one is kind of a specific. This is a conditional probability, but it's a, um, um, it's a multiplication thing. So, um, so he's eating jelly beans. He has 15 purple and 10 red jelly beans in a bag. Okay, they're in a bag, so we can't necessarily see the color. What's the probability he, he eats a red one? Let's, let's address that first. And then he goes back to get a purple one. So he's eaten one, so it's gone from the bag, right? So when we go back for the purple one, we'll have to look into that. But, but a red one, the probability of, of him eating a red one, well, there's 10 red ones out of a total of 25 um, total jelly beans. Now, he's eating it, so tasty. He wants to get another one, so he goes back. But the chance of him having a purple one, well, there's still 15 purple jelly beans in there. However, there's one less jelly bean, so it's out of 24. Okay, so you can start the reduction process here. I, I'm drawn to the fives. You got a three here and a five there, and the five goes into 10 twice. Um, you know, two goes into 24 12 times. Three out of 12 becomes one out of four, and that's actually your answer.